Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI has finally launched their own open weights model. This is one of their very few open models and probably a good frontier model with open weights. It has some quirks as well, and I will talk about them as we go forward. First of all, let's talk about the config of these models. There's the 117B model, and then there's the 21B model. These models are designed for powerful reasoning, agentic tasks, and versatile developer use cases. Both of them are mixture of experts models and use a 4-bit quantization scheme. The 117B model only gets 5.1 billion active parameters, while the 20B model gets 3.6 billion active parameters, respectively. The 120B fits in a single 80 GB GPU, and the 20B fits in a single 16 GB GPU. This is awesome because MacBooks can easily run the bigger variants, while consumer GPUs can probably run the 20B model easily. These models are reasoning, text-only models, with chain of thought and adjustable reasoning effort levels. You can easily set the reasoning effort between low, medium, and high based on your specific use case and latency needs. They are good at instruction following and have pretty good tool use support. You also gain complete access to the model's reasoning process, facilitating easier debugging and increased trust in outputs. It's not intended to be shown to end users. Also, these models come with an Apache license, which is awesome as it's highly permissive. It also has tool calling capabilities as well and performs well in that regard. You can use this model with everything, including Olama, LM Studio, or VLLM. So, you can get started with it right away if you need to use it. They say that the GPTOS 120B model achieves near parity with OpenAI 04 Mini on core reasoning benchmarks, while running efficiently on a single 80 GB GPU. The GPTOS 20B model delivers similar results to OpenAI 03 Mini on common benchmarks and can run on edge devices with just 16 GB of memory, making it ideal for on-device use cases, local inference, or rapid iteration without costly infrastructure. These models are not multimodal, so keep that in mind. If we take a look at the benchmarks, then OSS always scores near or below the O4 Mini, which is fine considering that this is a small-sized model and open weights as well. You can actually use this model for free as well on the GPT OSS site that they have made in order to use it and try it out without downloading or running it locally. You'd have to log in here with your Hugging Face account, so just do that, and then you can select between high reasoning, low reasoning, and mid reasoning as well, and then just talk with it as well. So, that is kind of awesome. If you do want to use it locally, then the best way would be to use Olima, as you can just run this one command and get it cloned locally and run it. Most probably, you should be able to run the smaller model locally quite easily, which is awesome for sure. As I'm making this video, multiple providers have started to give access to this model, that is Grok, Cerebras, and Fireworks. Grok is charging about 15 cents and 75 cents for the model, which is insanely cheap. Meanwhile, Cerebras is charging about 25 cents and 69 cents as well, which is also pretty cheap. So, these are the ones available, and you can easily use it via Open Router as well right now, which is quite awesome. Though, you can't yet set the reasoning effort in these models, which is a bummer. Anyway, I was able to run it on my benchmarks, which have been revamped with about 10 new questions, and the only model to score the highest yet is Gemini 2.5 Pro, which scores about 
and this model scores pretty low. Now, keep in mind that this is without reasoning, because I couldn't find any provider who allows for that yet. So, let's go through these questions. So, these two math questions are from A me, and no model can answer this yet, and this one also fails, which is a pretty big bummer, but that's fine. Similarly, I also have a riddle here, which goes something like, I leave men's lips, but am no word. I season food, but am no herb. Ascend the skies, but am no star. I make men weep, but leave no scar. And it is pretty simple. The answer to this is smoke, and it solved this, which is the only question that it solves. But then most of the benchmark is now coding, and that too, mostly 3JS. Here, I ask it to make me a floor plan using 3JS, which is quite a challenging thing to do even for Sonnet. And actually, no one apart from Gemini passes this. Anyway, here it failed because it renders nothing. Similarly, I asked it for an SVG of a panda with a burger, and it doesn't make that any well. A pokeball in 3JS also doesn't render. A chessboard with an autoplay feature is also a pretty bland fail, as even the board doesn't render. Web version of Minecraft is also something that doesn't even render anything, while a flying butterfly in a garden in 3JS is also not rendering. And then a CLI tool in Rust for image conversion is also a fail. It only passes one question in my bench, which unfortunately makes it score the lowest amount in my benchmarks. Now, this is the non-reasoning variant, and it would be only fair to compare it with another non-reasoning model with about the same parameters, and that is GLM 4.5 Air. So, GLM 4.5 Air is a model that is actually good in a lot of ways compared to GPT-OSS, even though it scores a tiny bit above GPT-OSS in my benchmarks. For example, the floor plan thing. You can see that I gave it a fail, but if you see the generation, then it is very close to perfect. I only give a pass when the plan is usable, but this is so close to being usable. It renders, works, and does everything that you'd want, and can be fixed in two or three more prompts, but GPT-OSS never renders. I'd say that the OpenAI model is a bit better at SVG generation, but if we dial back and look at the Pokeball, then again, GLM 4.5 pretty much nails it, whereas the OpenAI variant is not even rendering. Then the chessboard. It is again rendering pretty well, and the autoplay here also works, which is something that even the O4 Mini with reasoning fails to do at times, and the OSS model obviously fails. If we have a look at the Minecraft, then it doesn't render, but it does indeed flash some stuff, and it just feels better code-wise as well. If we look at the butterfly test, then yes, it works well. You can see that the butterfly here actually flies over flowers, and it actually works well without any issues. Similarly, the CLI tool for image conversion also works in the CLI, which is awesome. It isn't good at maths or stuff right now, which is fine, but that is what it is. So, even without reasoning, evaluating both tells you that though OpenAI's model is good, it is not anywhere near what open models that we already have. GLM is a prime example of this. You can run the Air model on the same hardware as OpenAI's counterpart while getting better performance. I have liked the Air model a lot, and I was looking forward to OpenAI's implementation but it isn't as good. This is the same Horizon Alpha model, by the way. So, yeah, it should be good at front-end. But 3JS and back-end coding is basically out of its league. I'll see if I can evaluate both GLM 4.5 Air and GPT-OSS with reasoning. And I have used GLM 4.5 Air with reasoning, and it gets way better. And I'll check that with GPT-OSS as well. But the first impression is surely not good. I am yet to use the smaller model, and that might be good. 
but we'll see about that because it needs to go against Quen 3 Coder Flash. I thought to share my thoughts with you guys as well, and let me know if you guys like the new benchmarks as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.